chilly weather is not going anywhere anytime soon. We've got that for several more days and we may get a couple days of snowfall on top of that, including tonight. You can see in satellite and radar, it's been fairly busy throughout the afternoon and evening. However, a lot of what's popping up on radar, at least over the past couple hours, really not getting to the ground, except within the last uh, 15 to 20 minutes or so, we're starting to see some steady snow showers creep in and actually result in some steady snowfall. We have a lot more of that coming in out of Iowa. This whole band has to work through as of tonight and as it does, it could produce some snow accumulations and slick roads late this evening and throughout the early overnight hours. Just make sure that you're driving with caution if you're going to be out tonight. Future track, as you can see, not showing much, at least initially. We get through the rest of this hour and past 7 o'clock, and that's when that steady snowfall should start up and remain in the area through at least 10 o'clock. After that, the weather slowly dries on out, but even after it dries up, we still could get some slick spots into that Friday morning drive, so just make sure that you're uh, traveling with caution early tomorrow morning. About an inch to two coming for most of us, uh, but a little closer to the lower end of that range. As you can see, higher totals the farther north you work, right along the Wisconsin-Illinois state line. It's closer to that two-inch mark. Uh, minor amounts overall, but still enough to cause some slippery patches. So just make sure that you're a little careful late tonight and early tomorrow. As the showers pick up this evening, watch for roads to become a little slippery out there and that steady snowfall generally after 7, but wrapping up by about midnight. Temperature wise, we're warming slightly tonight up to zero for a low temperature. Wind chills, of course, still below zero as that light snow sweeps on through. And then we reverse course and cool off tomorrow or back down into the single digits. And that's the trend going into the weekend. Extra chilly conditions around the corner as temperatures drop for in the next couple days. We'll be cloudy and dry throughout the daytime hours of Friday, but we've got more snow then after that. So after tonight, we get a bit of a break tomorrow during the day and tomorrow night into Saturday, at least through Saturday morning, a couple inches of snow may be on the way. And as you can see, may get up to at least four inches of snow in some spots. Uh, that says another storm system that takes aim at us going into the weekend. Then we're watching Tuesday for additional showers on the way. So here's future track for at least the weekend round. That works in late Friday night. We should have a steady snowfall spreading through the area early Saturday, and then that may linger into the afternoon, and that'll determine how much snow piles up. If we get that to last into the evening, that's where we may end up more in that three to four inch range with this particular storm. We then dry out going into Saturday night, but temperatures dropping by that point. Only six for a high on Saturday, barely above zero for Sunday. Both Saturday night and Sunday night provide dangerous wind chills so that Arctic cold really digging in here as we go into the weekend. We'll see that stick around into early next week. After that, much needed warmth, relatively speaking, on the way. Tuesday could provide another chance for showers, but we have temperatures back into the 20s. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast after a couple days of the 20s, Keep an eye on next Sunday. As of right now, we may be above freezing, James. I can see the line at the car wash now, Alex. Thanks.